Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're here today with a live reaction to 8686 episode 15. Guys, let's jump right into this. Okay. Where the operating base? How it's looking? How's Wait. That's how they sign stuff? Oh, okay. He don't read them shits. He just signs them shits. Got got Fido doing the dirty work. Yeah. They could come at any time. Are we over here? Yeah, we go have that big attack, man. We gotta be ready. Yo, what? What's up with y'all? Oh, oh, that's why they're upset. Okay. All right. I didn't know they were upset because they were like, hey, yo, you're just forcing these kids to battle. I thought these dudes was mad that, oh, um, after 86, like after that was their energy. Okay. That's actually, oh, all right. That's kind of cool that, I mean, granted, they probably have mixed reactions here. One dude feels that way. Someone else feels a different way. So I'm not too mad at that, actually. That's not, that's not bad. That's actually pretty solid. I see what she's saying, though. Mm. Why are you out here like this? Yeah, Frederico, what, what, you better go put some clothes on. Damn! He just threw her! Look at that. So the whole conclusion is people feel the 86 are poor children being forced to, to fight. And they're sending the presents, they're like, Ayo, why? they just came back from war, why are you making them fight? They don't know that this is their will. <laughs> you gotta eat. Oh, she's all about that? Uh, what's up? Ayo, y'all gotta have more energy when my girl comes, like, come on. <laughs> Stop talking about that. Yo, I love the cast, man. Aww. Yo, Corinna, you need to calm down. I ain't gonna lie. She acted crazy. She like the friend that you tell the gossip to, and she say it's so loud, everyone here. Oh, word? Yo, look at this base. This shit look nice. I like the design. Yeah, I'm curious. Do you mess with it? Yeah. Slightly better. Yeah, they, that's all they had. It's not like they had a choice. Like, hey, yo, I want to pilot that. No, you pilot this shit. Oh, so you are, okay. Oh, so she was also fighting very young. So she understands this. Okay, I like that. That's so that explains her character and why she builds these shits. She's not doing this selfishly. There's a sense of goal there, you know? She really wants to improve resources for the war. Damn look, we're right other than I mean it, it's not a bad thing though. We need only all heads need to come together. Yes, sir. 
興味深く読ませてもらったけどやはり勝利の予測した敵の数は高等無形だわ情報収集も分析も十分に必要だし All right. You think it's unlikely? Okay. Okay. Trust what I tell you. Even if it seems impossible, be prepared for it. If not, we die. Literally, even no matter what I tell you, I can tell you there's a billion coming. Even though it sounds impossible, be ready for a billion. Just trust my word, cause I'm in here. I know this shit. I've experienced this. I've seen what they're capable of. Just trust me. ジョノ、友人の部屋は写真だらけであったぞ。片付けよ。どこも人手が足りぬでの。少し遺品の整理を手伝ったのじゃ。遺品の写真ばかりであった。うわ。朝は済まなんだな。だ、you're cool. Your fault, huh? I mean, she did say she started the war. That's what happens when you rely too much on technology and shit. He lost everything till fighting was all he had. Protecting her was all he had. That's crazy when you think about it like that. He had nothing. おかげで藁和の死の証として吊るし上げられたのは来ていた皇帝のマントだけで済んだのじゃからしかしキリアはそれを見てしまっていたレギオンは時期に攻めてくるとそなたは言ったなおそらくキリもその時に来るじゃろ
yeah, it's true. We're not equals here as well. It seems like 86 cannot be equals anywhere. Like, no matter where they go, they were, they'll never be equals. People will always look, oh my girl, Lena. Mwah, mwah, mwah. No matter where they go, they'll always be looked down upon and whatnot. I'm not mad at it. I do like that we're getting to see Lena in this last, you know, last moments of the episode. They're giving us some Lena content. Because she hasn't been in it so long, man. I, I do miss her. She is a very great character. I feel like her character for me is more so the wholesome. I think Frederica is kind of taking that role though right now for the wholesomeness, like uh, making you uh, because in a sense, right when you're having a war like this and you're going crazy and you're fighting these battles, you're gonna need someone who's grounded, who's still pure in order to bring you back. And I feel like Lena was kind of that person. In the first season, right? You have like the gang, the 86 fighting, they're going through battles, they're losing people. Then you have Lena who's still crying because of the deaths, right? The 86, yeah, they're they're hurt about it, but you don't really see too much emotion coming from them. You see Lena, she's asking them about their life. She wants to make them feel comfortable. She's trying to make them, you know, happy, stuff like that. She wants to know what they want to do after. And this stuff in a sense is pureness, is wholesomeness being added to drag us from this despair of war. And I feel like Frederica is also kind of doing that same thing as being the mascot and whatnot. Y yeah, a big attack is coming and we have to prepare ourselves. And I gr I see why Gaia didn't heed, uh, you know, Shin's warning off the simple fact that they don't know that he could hear voices. He could hear the um, Legion coming and it's understandable why he wouldn't tell them because they would actually make him into a guinea pig and use him like a lab rat or something on the, along those lines but thank you so so much for watching guys if you made it to the end you are amazing yo 